Well, it has been 35 years since that infamous shot of John and Yoko in their bed in New York City. <laughs> so we thought after 30 years, Lisa and I would dramatically reenact it. We thought it was about time. <laughs> and also, as the weather gets cooler, many of us can struggle to get a good night's sleep. That's right. So how do you conquer the cold without forking out big bucks? Savvy shop shopaholic Joe Munro is here. Uh, as we play a little bit of Fleetwood Mac. Doesn't get much warmer for winter, does it? Hey, Joe, how are you? Hi. <laughs> Talk us through some of the bargains. There's lots of bargains in, uh, in sleepwear and sheets at the moment, mm -hmm. but we're talking also about how to stay warm yep. or cool, depending on how you sleep. Yeah. So getting a great night's sleep is about regulating your temperature. And the sheets are crucial, aren't they? The they material really that they're made out of. And there's various different materials. So when it gets cold, we all think about flannel because it's kind of insulated and fluffy and soft. Yep. Mm. That's great, but if you sleep hot, it's not so good because it doesn't let the cool air in. So cotton hot. might be a better option if you're if one side of the bed is a bit warmer. So one's usually sleeping warm and one's a bit cooler. Mm. Uh, cotton is great. It's really lovely on your skin. Mm -hmm. uh, however, if you get cold, cotton's not that great if you feel the cold. Really? Um, as a natural fibre? That surprises yeah, me. Yeah, it lets a lot of the, the warmth out. Mm. A great thing, one of the best ones is silk because silk will keep you warm when you're cool and it'll keep you cool when you're warm. It actually insulates, uh, it actually lets the thermo out and in really well. But a lot of people don't like to sleep on silk. I felt, yeah, it's, I don't like the feel of it. Yeah. Especially on a water bed, you know Yeah, I mean? it does make it a bit interesting. <laughs> <laughs> a mate of mine at uni had a silk bed on a, a silk, a silk sheets on a water bed. It was very strange. <laughs> Do people still have water beds? Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> that was so it was 70s. Ben Davis. <laughs> Ben Davis and Brizzy. Oh, right. <laughs> Hollywood Okay. Nights. Um, so with adults, what would you, what would you... <laughs> mm -hmm. I can't get over the fact I'm in bed with Carl. Again. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> 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 um, so for adults, best materials? Ooh. So great materials. Also your sleepwear is important, not yep. just the bedding. So great materials. If you sleep hot, there's some fabulous new fibres. There's uh, lots of sleepwear out there. Uh, for people that say have night sweats or are under cancer treatment or menopausal, uh, there's great fibres that are a mix of um, natural and man-made. Mm. So there's a company called Aiden, Eden, E A D E N. dot com. dot au. They do a fantastic sleepwear for people that are sick or feverish. Um, but wearing, if you like flannelette jammies, they're really warm. If you get cold feet, very light socks, not woolen socks. Wool doesn't let the heat out, so you can get hot, sweaty feet, and that will wake you up in the middle of the night. Yeah. I tell you, I reckon one of the hardest things, at least uh, you'd be able to comment on this, is when is when you, your you know your partner is really hot and and you might get cold or whatever. That combination. Yeah, Pete's really hot in yeah. bed, and that's about your sleepwear then. <laughs> I think he paid me to say that. No, I paid him. <laughs> um, no, but when you've got a hot partner... That's right. It's just... You, you actually don't want to be too close to them because it just... The heat transfers... And what materials do you use then? Well, that's where you vary your sleepwear. So if you are cooler in bed and, and the bed's generally warmer, you want to wear cooler clothes. If you're um, feeling the you're cold... You're spooning me now. You, yes, <laughs> it's getting romantic. <laughs> uh, you'd wear, you know, flannels or something like that. Or you could wear a onesie if you really feel the onesie. cold. Onesie? And... Uh, the, one of the best things from babies all the way through to adults, if you feel the cold, a onesie. And there's lots of them available at yeah, the moment. Yeah, they're really Do you think cool. it's just a little bit off-putting? I mean... They're not sexy, <laughs> but they're warm. <laughs> oh, look at that. Lisa's got a onesie on tonight. <laughs> I guess I'm going to sleep early. <laughs> kids? <laughs> uh, well, with kids, there's uh, lots of options. So with newborns, uh, a onesie is a great one for them. If it's real... And one of the things you need to do is don't just check their hands to see if they're cold. You want to put your hand in on their belly to see if they're sweaty because you don't want them sweating in the night because yeah. oh, it wakes them up idea. and they cry. Yeah. Mm. So uh, with newborns and young children, a onesie is a great one. If they're still cool, then you can swaddle the, the newborn. And in a onesie, it actually keeps them really nice. Okay. Tucked away. Um, I remember having um, the faux flannelette pyjamas when I was a kid. Um, <laughs> toddlers, what about them? Yeah, toddlers, the same thing. Yeah. Uh, onesies are good, or you can put them in, in flannels with yeah. uh, socks if they get cold feet. Same thing, you want to make sure you get the right sort of uh, fibre for them. So, wool blankets are great, except they don't let a lot of the heat out, mm. so it can get them sweating in the middle yeah, of the right. night. So, um, it's just about uh, doing a bit of regulation on it. Same with what they wear. Jammies are great, cotton is a good all buy one, and, and load them up with um, blankets on the top. Do you have to spend much? You don't. You know me, I love a, a bargain. Yeah. There is so many sales on at the moment. In fact, I was just speaking to David about uh, Click Frenzy has got massive sales on Sheridan at the moment. Really? Oh, so great. there's I think he, we were talking about buying linen sheet sets for an absolute song. So there's a lot around. What do you mean at the when moment. you say a song? What do you mean? 
uh, like at 30% yeah, right. of price. So I think uh, we're talking about buying about $1,000 worth of linen sheets for about Two seventy. Oh, yes. so like seventy plus percent off. That's right. That's, That's cool. aggressive. And then you get another bonus later. They'll go, oh, and here's another voucher. So, so at the moment it's sales central. And remember, we're coming into end of financial year, so everything is going to go crazy in the next month as well. Yeah. What side of the bed do you sleep on? Um, I sleep in the middle. Yeah. Me, <laughs> me too. <laughs> you? Um, I'm on this side because. I have to get up first in the morning, so the door to the bedroom is right there. So. Oh, and also if someone, if there's an intruder, you have intruder. to handle it. Well, that's true. <laughs> we did have an intruder once. And you had to handle it. And Pete it. said, well, if you reckon you can hear something, I can't hear anything. Go and have a look. He's a scaredy cat. <laughs> What about that? What I was about not that? happy. I, it was a week before I forgave him that one. Lisa's or maybe <laughs> 10 years, because <laughs> I'm still talking about it I now. I can see the Heather. Lisa's bedroom secrets exposed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone would care, Carl. Yeah. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Some really good advice. <laughs>